Hi everyone, this is Arlene with another video for My Favorite Things. I wanted to create a shadow box and I've been meaning to create this and I have a favorite, favorite picture of me and my son Logan that we took at Disneyland uh, in November for Thanksgiving and it's one of my favorite pictures of him. He was so giddy to get to Disneyland and anyways, I was really excited to scrap this picture. So I decided to create a shadow box and this is what I created. And sorry for the glare, you guys. Uh, it is a shadow box, so <laughs> there's a piece of gloss over the, the box. But um, that's what I created. And I used several different products from My Favorite Things in this shadow box project. And I just really, really love it. I can't wait to create more of these. Just so, so fun. Okay, so some of the pro products that I use, let me just put it over here so you guys can see it. Again, I'm sorry, so sorry for the glare. A um, couple of dies that I used. Um, I used the framed greetings die. It comes with a stamp set as well as the die. And I used the die on the very bottom here. And I also used the stamp that says, I'm so grateful for you. And I also used, um, these are all separate pieces, so it's, it's so customizable, I love it. Um, on the outer part, I used the, um, the the dotted line frame instead of the dots, and I really love how that came out. So if you guys can see, it kind of looks like stitching. Like, hope that's focusing well. But I really, really love it. And then I also used the Dainty Dots Dynamics die, and this is what it looks like. Really, really fun. Now the Dynamics dies can cut all sorts of material, including cardboard, thin card, um, sorry, cardstock, designer paper, thin cardboard, um, felt, bubble wrap. Um, there's a whole list of different materials on the MFT website, so check it out at mftstamps.com. And, um, and they're just so versatile, I love it. And I was actually able to cut out two sheets of paper, uh, designer paper, with one of my Dynamics dies, and it cut fine. It was perfect. So it saved me a lot of time. So I really love those. But you'll see up at the top, sorry for the glare again, at the top of my frame I used the Dainty Dots die to cut out a piece of brown felt from the Banana Split My Favorite Felt Collection and, um, and I lined it on the top of my layout on the canvas. Okay, so actually you could see it better there when I have it down. So um, so those are the dies I used. Now for the stamp sets, I tried to customize the stamp set a little bit. Now this background piece that you see here is from a Kane Company set uh, paper pad. Uh, I'm sorry, a My Mind's Eye paper pad. And the NO dot was already on that paper. And so what I did is I stamped Your My, and I took that from this stamp set. And this is the Clearly Sentimental About You um, stamp set by My Favorite Things. And what I did is I stamped just You're My. And I just inked that part up. I didn't ink up the Forever Love. And that's how I got the You're My on there. So it says You're My number one. And there's so many dreams in such a little package. I love that sentiment. That's from the Clearly Sentimental, Clearly Sentimental About Babies. Um, stamp set and that's the sentiment right here. I love that sentiment. It's just so So true such a children are so innocent and just so many so many possibilities um, So anyway, so those are the um, products that I used by by my favorite things and and everything else is just materials from my um, from my scrapbooking stash so really fun to make I had a lot of fun making this and Check out my favorite things at mftstamps.com. Very fun, clear stamps, and totally in love with their dynamics, you guys. Their dynamics are wonderful. Awesome product. Okay, so thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.